FDR was elected to be president by pushing for an economic stimulus plan called the New Deal, which basically made him the ideal candidate of the left wing of the United States. But as we all know about lefties, they don't necessarily agree 100% of the time, and this was no exception for FDR, as many people who would be considered on the left did not like him and wanted something that was a bit more than a stimulus plan to help us through a depression. However, the divide amongst the left was very noticeable, but there were two camps that actually had a decent enough momentum to actually give a sort of left-wing challenge to Roosevelt. If you were a leftist in the traditional Marxist sense, your best bet was to support the Socialist Party led by Norman Thomas. If you were a non-Marxist lefty, you were more than likely in favor of Huey Long's Share Wealth Program and his obvious presidential ambitions. And much like how they didn't like FDR, these two groups did not like each other either. Long was of course anti-socialist and sort of put on the whole like red scare tactics. Meanwhile, Norman accused Long of lying and being a fascist demagogue, and this was of course outside of the actual policy differences between the two ideas. You know, socialism versus a massive redistribution of wealth that was still going to be broadly capitalist. Now of course we could debate all day long of which of these two plans were better and how genuine these two were, but ultimately we know that the best people to actually do this kind of debate would be Long and Thomas themselves. Which is why they did exactly that. The debate's prompt, according to an advertisement in the Jewish Daily Bulletin, was Capitalism is doomed and cannot now be saved by a redistribution of wealth. You can probably guess which side of the issue these two people debated on. The debate was to be moderated by the leader of the Brooklyn Ethical Cultural Society, Dr. Henry Newman. And as you can probably guess, the debate is clearly a bit more of an academic style debate because the two people are being proposed a question and they have to debate the affirmative or the negative rather than simply just debating on a whole or having multiple different topics to debate on. Which makes sense because that's pretty much the style of the debates that have been held prior and a little bit after. Now given the fact that this debate would seem somewhat notable in a historical context because we get to see how the politics of the 1930s era United States was, or in a leftist context because we see a lot of lefties nowadays hold Huey Long up to a huge standard while also having socialism not be as a dirty word as we'd like to think so we can actually see how these two ideas differed and how they properly represented them, the debate would make for a good listen or read. Which of course leads me into the obvious thing given the title of this video. While sections of what happened during the debate have been released, the full debate has not been released. The most prominent book to talk about this debate is Norman Thomas, The Last Idealist, which deals heavily with the rocky relationship between Thomas and Long. One big segment describes how Long said, The lands and flocks of Abraham in the Bible were capitalistic at God's own inspiration, and under socialism, a man would not even own his garters. And even then, I can't 100% verify if those are direct quotes from Long or paraphrasings of what Long said. Both are likely given Huey Long's eccentric nature of talking. Though to be fair, since he's known for talking longer, obviously this is, there probably, there's probably more to what's being said. Now, given the politics of the time, it is unlikely that there is a filming or recording. I mean, I'm mostly basing this on the idea that Norman Thomas has not been recorded that much during his time period at that particular moment. But Huey was, so, I mean, it's possible. But given the fact that there are quotes slash paraphrasings existing, there had to have either been like a journalist present or a stenographer stationed by the folks in charge, suggesting that there's a full transcript of the debate out there. I mean, considering the fact that we have transcripts of the Lincoln-Douglas debates, this one shouldn't be hypothetically too hard to get. The only lead that I had personally was basically contact the people who held the debate, and I decided to email them basically asking, hey, do you think that you happen to have this debate? But given the fact that, you know, I emailed it at the time when COVID was at its peak, I was like, hey, you know, this isn't the highest priority. You don't have to waste your time right now. Email me when you can. And I've yet to receive a response. If I do get a response, I'll put a pinned comment down below. Or I'll pin anybody else who happens to have a better understanding of this than I do. 
Let's find this debate. Make sure that it gets released. There are a bunch of Huey Long fans out there that need something else to fawn over. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified when a future video of mine comes out. And if you're interested in more content from me, you can go to my website, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, or check out my articles on the Independent Political Report.